Well, hello and welcome to this Media Samurai tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how if you find a site that you really um, enjoy, there's a lot of times that when we find websites that um, we really like and we want to try to find as much information as possible about a particular subject or topic, um, we tend to spend hours digging through that site, navigating around that site, trying to find more information about the particular topics or subjects that we're looking for. I want to show you today how you can use Google and the search engine to not only search an entire site specifically, um, but actually find exactly what you're looking for a lot faster than navigating through the site itself. So let's get started. So whenever you're wanting to uh, search a, a specific site, so let's say that we're looking for a site that has to do with um, making dog food. Okay, so not only what's really nice is Google also gives you a couple of other examples that you can type in that other people are searching for. But right now, we just want to find a website that is talking about making dog food. So we're going to click search. And immediately it's brought up uh, like 44 million pages on um, websites that actually deal with, that have the key, the keyword phrase making dog food. So it looks like eHow right here has um, some information on homemade dog food. But we want to get as much information out of homemade dog food as possible. So let's click on this. We're going to go to the website. And here on the website, you know, we're going to read this article and say we get some really good information out of this article, but yet we're just still not satisfied. And there's all these other links that we can be digging through and spending uh, countless, you know, minutes or hours uh, throughout our day trying to find more information. Or what we could do is go back to Google and we could just take this website and paste it right into the search box, the search field. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back so it's a little bit easier for us to see to Google. So whenever you wanna search a specific site and only that site on Google, you're gonna type in site, colon, and then it's, you're not gonna have a space, you're gonna follow it by the website that you're wanting to search. So right here I have site, colon, ehow.com. Okay, so if I hit search, if you notice, it's only bringing me up results for this particular website. This is a very, very, very useful tool. Um, that's why I love Google. So, so okay, we just want to find, um, we're, remember, we're looking for how to make dog food or, or just making dog food. So when you're wanting to just search this one site and you're looking for a particular subject like making dog food, But let's say we want to um, find only the web, because we're trying to find, the goal here is to find um, those targeted web pages that just talk about making dog food and only read those pages and preferably just glance through um, the index listings and know exactly which, see exactly which page we want to go look at that strikes our interest instead of searching through tons and tons and tons of pages trying to find the solution or the answer to what it is we're looking for or searching for. So whenever you're wanting to look for something very specific, if I was to hit search right now, then as you can see, well actually I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to hit search. Now if you notice, dog food, dog food, dog food, dog food, make, these are all broke up. It's not actually in the exact order that I'm looking for. So when you want to find uh, a keyword phrase that's in the exact order, you put it in quotes. So as you see here, I'm putting making dog food in quotes. This is going to bring back results of only those pages that have making dog food together in that order. So I'm going to go ahead and hit search. And now as you see these results, it says making dog food, making dog food, making dog food. It gives, them, it gives us uh, targeted pages to, that are only referring to making dog food in uh, that format. But now let's take it. Let's take it a little bit deeper, and we only want to. Let's say we only want to find 
uh, those web pages or even those um, blog posts that have making dog food in the actual title of the page. So if you wanted to do that, you would say in title, colon, in quotes, making dog food. Hit search. Now, out of the, what this is telling us is that out of the entire website, ehow.com website, that the on, there's only two pages that actually have making dog food in that spe specific order um, in the URL. So these are the, probably going to be the most uh, relevant pages to what it is I'm looking for. So what this does is this saves you a lot of time, it saves you a lot of hours digging through their website, getting lost, not only getting lost, but getting sidetracked from what it is you're doing. And, and in this day's age, getting sidetracked on the internet is very easy to do, and we're dealing with tons of information being thrown at us. So what I wanted to do is show you how that you could simplify your time and get the best return on investment for your time when you're on the internet looking for information specific to your needs. So I hope this has helped you. Uh, if you can, leave a comment. I would love to hear your comments, and I hope you have a great day.